Oklahoma Memorial Stadium in Norman is the venue for today's game, and this should be a good one. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined by the former quarterback, Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll also hear from Aaron Andrews in a bit. Today's exciting game is presented by our friends at Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. We've got the Oregon Ducks and the Oklahoma Sooners. Sooners. This one has the makings of a real tight ball game. This could easily be an all-day seesaw kind of game. It may turn on who can make the fewest mistakes. For Oklahoma, a safety who can play the pass and the run is waiting for them. It ought to be entertaining to see how well he can contain an offense led by a quarterback as good as this one. Kickoff's just ahead, but first let's head down to the field for the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan, proud partner of the Heisman Trophy. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. For Oregon, what are you looking for from their offense? With this spread attack, they like to have four or five wide receivers on the field at once. They get the quarterback in the shotgun and give him a lot of room to make decisions. He'll have to get good protection from his line to make things work for him. He may have changed things up here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's brought down in the open field. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. And this crowd trying to will their defense to make a stop here on third and short. Here's the option to the right. He makes his way to about the 42. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. He's changing things up. He'll give it off here. He's taken down at the 42. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He looks to throw on first down. And he's immediately tackled. Two-yard pickup. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches into big games. They're changing the play. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Dives forward. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. A seven-yard pickup on the screenplay. Simple bubble screen here to the receiver. He did a pretty good job of picking up some yardage before he went down. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down to the ground. Good awareness on that scramble there. They dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. He's changing things up. Oh. 
Drops back and brought down immediately. So it's the defensive end that comes up with a sack. Again, they brought the blitz, and the defensive end was able to get free and fight his way into the quarterback. Second down and goal. And this is the 10th play of the drive. He fights forward to about the 13. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Drops back to pass. Fires to the end zone, picked off. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He throws it. He goes down at the 45-yard line. What a pretty pass play. This is just a simple play-action pass. The defense here bid on the fake just enough, allowing the quarterback to find an open target, and the result is a big gainer. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. They're calling an audible. They go with the option. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good discipline here by the defense, stringing the option out and plugging the running lanes. That moved them back. From the 48-yard line, it's third down. He is drilled at the 40-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Looks for his running back, incomplete. From the 40-yard line, second down. Tackled for a loss. Excellent job by the defense to diagnose the play so quickly. This is really a well-coached unit. Drops back to pass. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. And that makes it fourth down. Boy, great defense on that play. They were expecting the pass, and they defended it very well by getting a hand in there to break up the play. So the kicker can't make the field goal there, and this defense comes away with a small victory. So the score is still Oklahoma nothing, Oregon nothing. They'll start this drive at the 41-yard line, first and 10. the ground with the tailback and they get nice yardage on that run they're changing the play option here he's gobbled up in the backfield you know it looked to me like he should have made the pitch but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards And this stadium is getting loud. He chucks it downfield. Well, the defense stood tall there. Boy, the defense did what they had to do to get three and out and now get the offense back on the field. They'll go to work at the 26-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. 
Looks over the middle and finds a fullback. A pickup of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. And he's hit immediately. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. Heads-up play by the quarterback to find his receiver in traffic and get the ball into his hands. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. They get four yards on that pass play. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. He's changing things up. It's the tailback. And they get nice yardage on that run. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Second and 13. Ball on their own 45. He unloads it. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. And he's level at the 17-yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 17. They go with a run. He fights forward to about the 19. safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. From their own 16-yard line, third down. The crowd really making it difficult. Looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. Unfortunately, I've taken a few of those in my day, and they are not pleasant. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. And he just got drilled. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. And we're all tied up at the end of the first quarter. They'll go to work at the 45-yard line. He goes down at the 25. He was able to get to that second level, and once he was there, he had room to run. He was pretty tough to stop. I thought he was going to go all the way. They'll run the option. And they got him for a loss. The entire defense just collapsed on that run and got penetration into the backfield. Nice job by the safety to clean up the mess. Here's the give. He gets out to about the 14-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards.
Looks like someone was called for holding. Well, if you want to ruin a drive, just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. So first down once again, but a long ways to go after that penalty. It's knocked away, incomplete. From the 23-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down at the nine. Got a man, open touchdown. And he converts the extra point. So a six-play, 55-yard drive. And a touchdown's a result. So the score now, 7-0. Oklahoma to kick this one off. Gets to about the 24-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 24-yard line. They go option right. Pitches, and he's got room. Very good tackle in space. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. It's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. He looks to throw on first down. Throws complete and he stopped immediately. A gain of six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. They come out in a five-wide set. Try to change the play. Drops back to pass. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. And this place is rocking. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Decides to slide. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. And he's tackled at the 34. He's changing things up. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Rose and it's knocked away. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. So our score, Oklahoma 7, Oregon 3. Oregon is ready to kick it away. He got all of that one.
They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. The offense will take over at the 24. First and 10. And they push him out at the 26. Oklahoma is up by four. They're changing the play. First down grab by the receiver. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. Runs outside for a nice game. He may have changed things up here. Well, they run it left and a nice tackle right there. The halfback gets a couple there on the counter. It's fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Brought down at the 22-yard line. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. The offense will start at the 22. We've got a first and 10. left. He tackles him for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around the ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. It's complete. Tackle at the 21. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. And now they should come away with pretty good field position, so consider that a big stop. at the 42-yard line. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with. But that never happened on this kick. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll knock him down for a loss. Oklahoma will take their first time out of the half. Let's it fly. And they tackle him at the 27. Hand off, and he's met immediately. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. They're calling an audible. Back to pass. He's hit and taken down. Oklahoma will have one timeout remaining. He looks to throw on first down. The quarterback didn't have any time to find the open man. to throw, but he's not going to have time. They got it. How about the intensity of the pass rush? Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him.
from the 31 yard line. It's third down. Looks to pass. And he'll be sacked again. And they're really getting some good pressure now. Well, if they keep putting pressure on him like this, he might start to look to get rid of the ball quicker, which could very possibly lead to turnovers. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt from 56 yards away. They tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. And our score, Oklahoma, seven, Oregon, three. They'll take over at the 39. But very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. Oh, this is a great job by this young man to get the ball out of his hands. He was facing an all-out blitz and didn't panic at all. It's a nice pass and a new set of downs to show for it. A great first half comes to a close. Our score here in Oklahoma Memorial, the Sooners, seven, the Ducks, three. Ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Aaron Andrews has a report now from the sideline. If you're a fan of great defense, then you're liking what you're seeing from these two teams. This is the type of game that each coach said they expected, at least for a quarter or two. Neither team was able to get their running game going. Back up to you, Brad. They'll be looking to get in the end zone for only the second time. They'll take over at the 23-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. And they got him. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. But the quarterback did do a good job of not losing too much ground. It only set them back about two on the play. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. He throws. Third down and 12. Ball on their own 21. and still completed it. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. About a seven-yard pickup that time on the pass. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. Way to look it in. Try to change the play. Tackled after a decent pickup.
Back to pass. Finds his receiver who's all alone. Looks to pass, and he's sacked. So it's second and 17, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That pass play goes nowhere. The freshman took the quick pass, but the defense made a very nice read on the play. He didn't have anywhere to go. He drops back. Got him again. Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 77-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He just drills this one. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They'll start at the 26-yard line. Here's the option. They bring him down in the backfield. You can't teach instinct. The ability to know where a play is going is something this safety has. That was a terrific effort. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 23. Back to pass. And he's sacked. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Drops back to pass. Going deep on the left side. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down, getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 42. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Yeah, I think we're all beginning to see that this guy seems to play much faster in person than when you watch him on TV or when you study him on tape. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating, and quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical manpower to be able to slow him down, prevent him from making plays. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he's tackled at the 47. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. They'll get the ball here at the 47-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Throws a bullet over the middle, and down he goes at the 32-yard line. That 
And he's hit before he can go anywhere. I'm sure the coaches are going to tell him to calm down and be more careful because I guarantee you, nobody keeps throwing those passes into the defense like that without making a mistake. Back to pass. Now he's going to run and watch out. Decides to slide. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. They're calling an audible. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And so he found his receiver for the score. And the closer you get to the end zone, the more difficult it becomes to throw the football because the field becomes much smaller to work with. But they did a very nice job there to come up with the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A four-play, 54-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The score now, 14-10. Oregon is ready to kick it away. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 29. For Oregon, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. You know, all week long, the defensive coordinator for this team told us that it was a major priority to put pressure on the quarterback. That's exactly what they're doing. Well, right now, they're using great athletic ability to put pressure on the quarterback. And I think the one thing that's very obvious for any offense is when you're facing this kind of pressure, it starts to become a mental game as much as a physical aspect of it. And right now, this defense is in the head of this offense. And they'd love to get a quick three and out in this situation. On the throw, incomplete pass. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Let's it fly. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. They're calling an audible. Takes it right and brought down right away. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. He's changing things up. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. Drops back to pass. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. taken down at the 22-yard line. And that was excellent punt cover. I agree, Brad. That was very well defended. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. He may have changed things up here. Strings it out left, and he stopped right away. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. They're calling an audible. with only one man to beat. It definitely put them in better field position, and I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. Hands it off. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Looking to throw. Loose football. The defense scoops it. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. 
He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. This drive will start at the 29-yard line. First down, 10 to go. They'll throw on first down. They'll make the sack. They simply have too much speed for this offensive line. They're just too quick off the ball. They're changing the play. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. The draw play to the running back gives him eight or nine yards. Try to change the play. Gives it to the back. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. Steps up and goes down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Delayed handoff. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. Drops back to pass. Throws incomplete, broken up. Nice job there to bring up a fourth down. Pretty good throw here by the quarterback, but he couldn't quite get it in there. That was a nice job by the defense. So it's fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Our score here in Oklahoma Memorial, the Sooners, 14, the Ducks, 10. They'll start this drive at the 32. First down, 10 yards to go. Looks like an option here. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. So the tailback gets two yards on the option. him hard at the 35-yard line. Nowhere to go on that play action pass completion. They're changing the play. Got his man, but he was out of bounds. That pass led him just a little bit too far, but still great effort. Fourth down. And they're ready to punt this one away. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. You wonder what kind of impact the special team's play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Defensive coordinator has a lot of confidence in his pass defense if he's releasing a safety to stop the run. He'll get it again. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time.
lets it fly. This one will fall incomplete. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Fourth down. Here comes the punter looking to boot this one away. Booming kick. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. They'll start this drive at the 33. First and 10. They'll spread the field with five wide. Wide receiver screen play. Tackle at the 37-yard line. They pick up at the most four yards on the screen play. They go option right. And they fall on the loose ball. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Draw play. Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And he converts the extra point. A quick two-play, 23-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 21-10. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 31. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. They need to move the ball down the field quickly and efficiently. They should maybe even throw in some no huddle to conserve time. They go with the option. Runs outside for a nice game. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. He drops back. They bring him down. Third and ten. Ball on their own thirty one. No time to throw. They got in there quickly. And that is one inspired defense right now. I'll tell you something. This environment and that pass rush is a tough combination for any quarterback. It's fourth down. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. It's away and it's a booming punt. They'll bring him down at the 35. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. This offense scored a touchdown there last time out, and their running game was really clicking. Here's a handoff up the middle and no room to run. A two-yard run by the halfback. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. They'll run the option, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Try to change the play. What? 
They'll take it inside, but the defense is ready. That's going to bring up fourth down. Just a great job by the defense. These guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line. Less than three minutes in the game. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it to the 25-yard line. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. First down, looking to throw. There's a fumble. And now it's recovered by the receiver. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. right away. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Just under two minutes in the game. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Now, the defense knew exactly what was coming, and they still got out muscle. They'll have to stay out on the field for another set of downs. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Got him, and he goes down quickly. Looks to pass. And he's taken down at the 43. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. A little over a minute in the game. Right side with the option. He laterals the ball. Runs outside for a nice game. Unbelievable. Another conversion on fourth down. Man, they just made the right call at the right time and executed it perfectly. He's looking for his man. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Back to pass. They bring the quarterback down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. Under a minute left. He's wrapped up for the sack. Fourth down again. And let's see if the third time's the charm as they try and put an end to this drive. He drops back. He's going to air it long. And that just might do it. Intercepted. And he's tackled right around midfield. That is not where the quarterback wanted to go with the ball. It's not a good pass at all. And that's going to go down as his second interception of the day. From the 50, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee, Oregon will take their last time out. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee. Third down and they need to get it inside the 40. They give it to the halfback, and he's tackled right away. Yeah. 
And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Oklahoma 21, Oregon 10. Let's get Kirk Herbstreet's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, this was shaping up to be a really close game, but they did what they had to do, made some big plays, and were able to pull away. Oklahoma had a really tough matchup coming in, but they were prepared, motivated, and came away with a really solid win. Couldn't have asked for a better game from this guy. He's our player of the game winner. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 12. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.